Hey, this is Magna, and welcome to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to change a number of different uh, faction text, mostly to do with the uh, changing the faction's name. There's a number of different text involved, uh, so let's jump straight into it. Now, the text that we're going to be editing, or we're going, which we need to do when changing a faction name. Um, we can find references to them in the DB Factions table in Data Room 2. So you go DB, of course, Factions. And the ones we want to change here are the screen name, screen adjective, attack description, defend description, plus a couple others, uh, such as when uh, a faction becomes a confederation. You can also change the name it, it gets then, as well as like when there's a civil war, uh, and then you get the choice like with Rome. If you you're playing as Rome and you have a civil war, and you, when you win the civil war, you can decide if you want to be uh, the Roman Empire or if you want to be the Roman Republic. Still, uh, so you can change what that name is as well. Now you don't do it in the DB table. Although there are entries for screen name, active screen adjective, etc. in the DB table, all the editing of any text that you actually see on the screen is all done through the localization files. And they are in data, uh, Rome to a data file in these two here. Now for the faction, for the faction text, we're not going to look at the um, faction localization from this one, we're going to look here because this one doesn't have the confederation uh, entries that we wanted to have. Uh, so we're going to, instead of actually looking at it, we're just going to add it directly to our current uh, unit base pack that we've been working with and we're going to add it to here. We've already got this directory set up. If you haven't and you're just doing, say, you have, you're just joining us later, you'll have to create this directory. So your mod name, text, DB, and then inside there we're going to right click on DB, add from pack, and then we're going to select local EN Rome 2. EN being the language that I'm using, I've got the English version. If you have a different language version of Rome 2, then you will have a different two letter there. It might be uh, PL for Polish or whatever other uh, language combinations, maybe DE for German. I have no idea uh, what they actually are for all the different languages. But yeah, if you check your data folder, you'll find out. Okay, so we're going to open that up, go to text, DB, scroll down to factions.lock, dot .lock being localization, and we're going to double click on it so that it here it says that it's added. Okay. We're going to save it and rename it, just like we do with all the other dot .lock files that we've been using. Because we're not uh, removing rows. Uh, we're not removing text from the game, we're just uh, editing, replacing. So, mag, shoot. So, let's start off with, uh, we're going to sort the table so we can find, by looking here we see we will need to find the screen name and screen adjective. So let's sort the table here by this code. Click on the tag button. Now what's important, it's not important which one of these um, dot .lock files we enter this code into. Uh, if you have a non-English version of Rome 2, then you'll find only one localization file when you look into those um, local EN Rome 2. Well, wouldn't be N, but another language. Uh, you'll only find one localization file which will have everything in it. So it's not really important that we have them in different ones. What's important is that we have this uh, code here, for example, factions underscore screen underscore name underscore, and then the uh, faction code for this specific one. And th that's how it works. So we're going to now change Rome for this, the main campaign. I've been modding everything I've been doing with, with Rome. So I'm going to change the uh, faction name of Rome to something else. And delete pretty much everything else that is not Rome. So make sure that I have it in alphabetical order in the tag. So uh, I can just delete everything that's not Rome. 
Uh, you also find here that you can change uh, the name of the political uh, bodies. So, you know, Scythia has nobles, Seleucid has court nobles, all that kind of stuff, citizens for Syracuse, etc. I'm not going to do that in, uh, in this, but, you, you know, you can see quite easily how to do it. So I'm just going to go down until I get to faction screen name. Okay, I'm going to delete the senator stuff first. I'm just going to delete as I go down. And then we'll just get to uh, where we want to go, bit by step by step. So now we have here faction screen name when shogun underscore. And you see here, for instance, the Suebi, uh, they have Suebi Confederation. So this is where you change the name of when a faction confederates with another faction. Uh, so you can call that, instead of Suebi Confederation, call it whatever you want, and this is where you change the text. Now, we're not modding Suebi, we're modding Rome. So I'm going to delete, and I'm going to change it Rome so that it can actually... Okay, screen name when Shogun, Roman Empire. Okay, so that's also for when you're doing a civil war, and uh, you get that option at the end where you become either an empire as when you're playing as Rome or not. It also goes in there. There's another place where this is also linked to and uh, we'll get down to that shortly. So instead of calling it the Roman Empire, I'm going to call it uh, Magna's Empire. And I'm going to keep deleting down. When Shogun, when Shogun Screen name when rebels. I'm not going to change the name of the rebels. Don't bother with that. Okay, now I'm going to go down to Rome here. Screen name Rome. I'll delete everything else. And I call it uh, the Magna Republic. Okay, now we want to. So now I've got down that first one here, screen name. I'll scroll over a bit. Screen name now we've changed. Go down a little bit further. Faction screen name. Faction screen adjective is the next one we need to change here. So I'll delete all that. And I'll change this one again. The Magna Republic. I can copy and paste as well. Select the Control C, Control V. Good. Okay, adjective, faction, defend description. You're defending against Rome, you're looking for. And where is it? There it is. Delete everything. You are defending against Magna. Okay, so that's now two down from that uh, factions table. Now we need the attack one. Will probably be next. Okay, it's not next. Delete it again. Okay, clan summary name. Again, we're gonna. Have, this is also to do with uh, the empire, the um, that event after a civil war. So again, we'll rename that to the Magna Empire. Okay. So this is for the Gaul campaign, don't need that. Summary, faction, clan, summary, name. Okay, we need this one here as well. So this is the faction, clan, summary, name when you're uh, before the Civil War event.
and essentially I just do this all the way down for all the different ones um, that I need to change with that faction. There's quite a few to change. So now we've got the attack description. But we're almost done. Okay, and that's pretty much all that there is. The tax description is the last one on the list. Good. Okay, I can delete everything else. And there we have it. So we had to get the screen adjective done, is there. Screen name done. Then we've got the uh, attack description. We've got the defender description. Uh, then we have the. Um, the stuff to do with the well, you got the summary, the faction clan summary, and then you have the summary after the uh, civil war event, and you have the new name after the civil war war event, which is up here, and that's all there is to changing a faction's name. Uh, you can change it, changing it within all the different des description texts, like you know. You are Rome, and you know, do that right at the start when it describes um, the situa your, your starting situation uh, in the campaign. After, like when the camera pans, that's all done in somewhere else. But for just changing the basic name for all different areas, uh, that's how it's done. So uh, go ahead and start naming some factions after yourself, or whoever else, or whatever else. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.